Alright guys, this is going to be an overview of our centrifuge, which is going to be used in our protein precipitation experiments. In order to open it, uh, when it's in the off position, like so, you're going to pull this latch here, and it's going to unlock it for you. And on the inside, this is going to be the rotor, which holds your centrifuge tubes. And on the bottom, it's connected to the motor, which will work at a certain speed and temperature and time uh, while you're doing the centrifugation. Inside your rotor here is where the centrifuge tubes go. Something very important and probably the most important thing to improvise or emphasize with centrifugation is that you're going to need your weight to be evenly divided upon it. So if you have an odd number of samples, you're going to need to fill up a blank to hold that weight in there. If you were to have four samples, you need to set it up like so, where the weight is evenly distributed uh, across this circle here. Uh, and then you guys will have six on your day one. So on your first day, your centrifugation is going to look like this, where the weight is evenly divided amongst it. Then you'll put the rotor back in on top of the centrifuge motor here. You put the cap on top, and fasten it in. And then you can close your centrifuge, power it on. And right here, all the buttons will get up. And then in order to set your parameters, you'll click on speed. Say you want 2000 here. Then you'll need to hit enter. Time, 20 minutes enter and then you can also set your temperature around room temperatures where it is right now so we'll keep it there and that'll be set and then you're just going to start centrifugation and when you're ready to stop you're going to push stop the speed will start to go down on the left and there will be a vacuum on the inside of here so you won't be able to open the top at all uh, until it gets down to pretty much zero speed which we will wait a second for Okay, so now our centrifuge is turned off. It makes the noise that says it's allowed to be open now. The latch is unlocked. And you'll pull out the samples the same way I got it out the first time. Voila. After they spin around and centrifuge. And then you'll just turn it off the same way you turned it on, like so. And so that's the basics for our centrifuge in the lab.